and welcome to another planty video. Today's one is going to be quickish. Um, I just wanted to show you some planty updates just to show you kind of where they are now. Um, I hope I'm going to have some old Instagram pictures to put up, uh, but maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. But I get consistently asked about one plant in particular, so I thought let me make a video to show you about that and um, then I'll just show you some more while I'm here. Exactly, Misty. And without further ado, let's get cracking. So the first one I want to show you is this one, currently balanced on top of a um, Tupperware. Misty. <laughs> okay, so this is the first one. This is my um, Albo Variegata that I repotted end of last year. I don't really remember when I repotted it now. Misty, sweet pea, do you mind? It's all very exciting. Um, as you can see, I'm about to tip it over, but also it's growing really nicely. So it's enjoying being in the pole. The bigger pot was a great idea. Um, ideally, I want to do it one more pot size up, but let me see if I can bring it to you. Ta -da! So lots of new growth, most exciting. Um, the little nub down at the bottom is also growing. I don't know if you can see that there, but absolutely smashing. Um, I get asked all the time for cuttings of this plant. Guys, please don't ask people for cuttings of their plants. If they want to give you a cutting of their plant, they'll offer you a cutting of their plant. It's just a PSA. I don't want to cut it up right now. See, the neighbor's dogs agree. But I will eventually, because um, I'm running out of space. But there we go. Absolutely smashing. Then, we have, what should we do? I'm just gonna do them in order of closeness. Oh my goodness, there's animals everywhere. Rosie's here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Must you scratch the scratch post now? Here we go. Here is my Philodendron varicosum. So I'm hoping it's gonna focus. Mm -hmm. um, it's grown a lot since I got it. It came with two or three leaves last year it was cold um, it did come with a little bit of a fungal infection so I decided to chop all those leaves off <laughs> I can't be dealing with fungus um, I don't have the energy to treat stuff so I just cut stuff off and then give it a spray with copper side um, and as you can see it's doing really nicely it's in sorry it's in a tiny little pot in this big pot let me take it out of the cover pot so you can see it's got a new leaf coming out now I've just given it a little um, chopstick for now it's not big enough for a pole but uh, once I pot it up, I'm going to give it an actual pole because obviously I want this to get really big, but it's growing really beautifully now. Um, cutting the original leaves off, I think, was a good thing after the panic. But yeah, Varicosum doing well after me being terrified. It's not near a humidifier. Uh, it just lives in the corner of my studio. It seems pretty happy, so. Okay, then we have the one that everybody asked about. Philodendron Dark Lord. Again, it's in a much smaller pot. There we go. I'll just take it out the cover pot. This thing grows so slowly. Oh my goodness. I love this plant. Um, so if you watched the original video, I can't remember when that was now, July last year, um, it came as just an unrooted cutting. It took forever to root. Like, I find that plants root relatively quickly here. I've got a nice space for them to root in. Forever. It finally rooted, planted it up, and... Sorry, it was easy to... It just took an absolute age to root. Finally rooted, and then it grew a new shoot out this side. So this is its new growth. So this leaf, this leaf, and this leaf. So I'm hoping... I don't know if it's going to come over on camera, but... I think one more new leaf and we're going to be ready for a pole and then I think that's really going to help it train, help it on its merry way. So that's the Dark Lord update. It's not the update I was hoping to show you. I was hoping it was going to be this beautiful, at least semi, well, maybe like one leaf taller plant, but it's slow and that's okay. Um, it's just taking a bit of time to grow into itself, but it's still alive. So that's all that counts. Then. Let me show you, okay, I wanna show you this one. This is my Philodendron Plowmanii. And I want to show you this because this is the plant that I have had 
the most amount of trouble with. Rosie's about to start playing, hold on. This is the plant that I've easily had the most amount of trouble with. I don't know what it is about the Plowmanii. It's given me nothing but sadness and grief. <laughs> and I don't know why. Um, so you can see this is an older leaf. It had some fungal damage and then it had thrips. It lives by itself, so it couldn't get anything else. So I've been treating it and it's fine now. So this one has some fungal and thrips damage and this leaf has some fungal and thrips damage. Um, I also took the plunge and just cut its original leaves off again. I'm a big fan of just like, it looks terrible, it's not working, cut it back. Um, dramatic, <laughs> but it works sometimes. And now it's grown this leaf, which looks really good. And this is its latest leaf, which is just spectacular. No problems at all. I've moved it as well. So it lives in this room. So it lives in that corner over there, <laughs> loving life. So I think we have finally cracked where it's happy, what it likes, the lighting conditions, the airflow, all is well. And it's growing really nicely. It's starting to trail across the pot. Might be able to see that. So, <sighs> what a relief, because this, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is my most expensive plant. So, yeah, very glad that that is happy. Because I wasn't convinced for a while there, Misty. Okay. <clears throat> Who are we going to do next? Let's do this guy. So this is my Anthurium clarinervium. And you'll say, uh, Liv, some of those leaves look terrible. And I will say to you, you would be correct. <laughs> and that is because it got root rot. Misty, I love you, sweet pea. But a little bit in the way. Hello, bye-bye. Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh yes, it got root rot. So I transferred it into Lekka. And it was doing really well, but its root system was too big and I was, to be frank, lazy. So I didn't do shower method, I just shoved it in with a um, reservoir. And uh, would you believe it didn't like that? And instead of just doing the thing where it loses its soil roots and gets its water roots, it just got root rot. <laughs> so that's why these leaves are curled. That's from when it had root rot. I cut all of that rot off, treated with hydrogen peroxide and then rerouted in water. It's got an amazing root system now. But this leaf and this leaf are the leaves that it had when it got root rot and they've just never like uncurled, which is fine. But as you can see, we've got a new leaf, a new leaf, and then over here, a little baby leaf. So it seems happy now, but I just wanted to give you an update because I know I posted on Instagram about it having root rot and a lot of people were asking about it um, and about the treatment of it. So yeah, it's coming back nicely now. Um, once these mature a little bit, I'm gonna cut off these leaves but until then I don't mind them being a bit curly so that's um recovery root rot recovery anthurium clarinervium misty's so happy today what's cracking moo what's happening okay staying on the anthurium train misty come oh bye-bye Okay, we're staying on the Anthurium train. Oh no, the cats are gonna start playing now and it's it's gonna be bad. Guys, there's a table full of plants. It's a, it's a situation. Hello, bye-bye. Rosie's here and Rosie is leaving. Goodbye. Um, Anthurium Magnificum. So, I don't know what happens as soon as I um, sit down and start filming, the cats just go wild. They're not normally like that. Okay. Trying again, <laughs> and theory magnificent. Um, so this was, did it have a leaf? It didn't. So when I got sent this very kindly, it didn't have a leaf? Or did it have a really small leaf? I don't remember now. Um, it is in videos of past. If anyone wants to go back and look, you're welcome. Rosie's playing again, hold on. Taking her catnip toys away. <laughs> Um, it grew this leaf, which I'm very surprised at. I did the same thing, transferred it into Lekka, realized it wasn't super happy. Um, it was happier than the Clarinervium, it didn't get root rot, but I figured I'm just transferring them back so it can join the team too. And it's just growing this little one, not so big, but that's okay. But it looks like it's gonna have some more growth. So from being a little nub, I think that's pretty good. Um, again, it's not in super high humidity, so considering that it's doing pretty well 
So there you go, that's uh, Anthurium Magnificum. Um, oh, two more. I just wanted to show you this guy. So this is my Alocasia Dragon Scale Beginner. I don't remember. Alocasia Dragon Scale. It was looking trash. Um, I had it in the bathroom and I think that was actually too much humidity for it because it's got such hard um, leaves. I think it's a lot more resilient than other alocasia. Isn't it misty? It's a lot more resilient than other alocasia um, and it didn't really seem to respond too well to being in the bathroom. So I've moved it, it's now in my studio and um, yeah, much happier. Last time I showed you this, it had horrific crisping and yellowing leaves from erratic watering. She says, looking at it, seeing that it desperately needs some water. <laughs> but it's come out really nicely. Um, pretty much all the yellowing's gone, looking pretty good, looking pretty happy. So I am chuffed with that. And then the last one, I don't know really how I'm gonna show you this one. Oh, cat and frame at the same time, not ideal. Okay, <laughs> this is the uh, current state of my Hoya Publicalix. Do you know what kind of Publicalix it is? It was sold as a Carnosa, but it's, it's Publicalix. Um, it's, uh, it's gone a bit wild. <laughs> I also kind of just, oh, Misty's found the catnip toys. <laughs> I also kind of just wanted to show you here because I think I'm probably selling it. Um, I'm downsizing my collection a fair amount just because I don't really have that much time and I need a little bit of cash money. Um, so the plan is, do you want these? Is that what you're looking for? Come on, go and get them. I've completely forgotten what I was saying now. Um, oh yeah, basically I'm just downsizing a little bit. Um, if any of you have anxiety and your anxiety is triggered by stuff being around, I had too many plants in my brain, plants counter stuff. I moved most of them into the greenhouse, which has done wonders, but I kind of just want to downsize a little bit just for my sanity, um, just for working and stuff, need more time. You don't need to know these things, but I, I might be selling her. I just thought I will immortalize her in this state on camera. Oh, they're just so pretty. I don't know. I don't know what to do, but it's absolutely smashed. When I bought it two years ago, through three years ago, um, it was maybe like four leaves. So it's done pretty well and had a lot of chops. So, yeah, hoi publicalix. And with that, that is my little planty update. So I just kind of wanted to show you where everyone was at. This one was what everyone was asking about. So there you go, Dark Lord. <laughs> and then um, a couple of others. So, um, if you want to talk to me about your plant updates, please let me know. Uh, you can talk to me on Instagram at leafy.greenfingers. I try to reply to everybody. Um, I'd love to have a chat with you there or leave me a comment below and we can have a chat. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you here. And I um, hope you're all staying safe out there and yeah, just staying sane really. <laughs> anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time for another planty video. Bye.